Hey everyone, what's going on? Jaden0165 aka Jaden. Welcome back to another episode of Random Thoughts. Today's episode is episode 71 because yesterday I made episode 70 where I was talking about more anime, more cosplay, and more greatness, you know. Just more awesomeness leading to more awesomeness and then more awesomeness leading to more awesomeness, you know. You guys can go check out that video out, uh, episode 70. So yeah, um, I'm super excited. I'm super pumped that I'm uh, making more videos, that I'm making more episodes, and I'm super pumped and excited for reaching 80 episodes in total of this Random Thoughts series. See, I told y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to give up. And I'm just going to keep going because the fact that I keep going is in my blood. It's in my DNA. I'm a warrior. I'm that warrior. What can I say? So yeah. Uh, in today's video, you guys, I'm going to be doing something that I actually probably have never done in the history of my YouTube channel, all right? Now, for today's video, for today's episode, episode 71, I was planning to do a different video. I was planning to talk about something different, but then I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. Um, so here's the story, you guys. Let me break it down to you. Let me break it down. Let me Run, run, let me run it back by details here and uh, let me just break it down and explain it to all y'all watching at home and watching this uh, video in today's uh, episode right here and right now. So yeah, let's get it. Let's go and let's get it. So yeah, that's what's up. So um, I started watching this anime movie called Akita. Uh, my best friend was the one. I remember um, I had the whole conversation, you know, it's not my birthday anymore. My birthday was long past, you know. Um, <clears throat> uh, but uh, no, yeah, my birthday was a uh, long, long, long ago. Um, it's April now. My birthday was in March. So, yeah. But uh, it was around March. Um, me and my best friend, Jason, we were talking about this. And I was like, so my birthday's coming up soon and I need something to Ben watch and I need something to watch. Got any, got any ideas, got any suggestions for me? You know, I'm all ears, you know. Um, and my best friend was like, you should watch this movie called Akita. And I was like, why does that name sound so familiar? And I was like, oh yeah, I remember it. So here's another long story. So another long story short, um, I never watched this uh anime movie until now um the first time i ever saw this anime movie's like existence when i discovered uh this anime movie just saw it you know with my own two eyes uh i remember back then um me and my mom we would always uh travel and we would always go places this and that this and that and i remember back then uh we uh we go to a store and we used to we used to go to books a million a, a whole lot back then you know um i really would definitely like to go back to that store once COVID is all over with and just you know uh walk around you know look at the sections this and that this and that blah 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 it's a really great store um so back then me and my mom would always go to books a million and i would always just walk around and discover and just like you know, I'll go on this adventure and I just, you know, look around. And then I stumble across the anime section. They had mangas, they had anime, movies, the whole nine yards. I was like, holy, holy moly, like this is the real deal, you know? And then I was looking at the anime uh, movie section and then I stumbled upon this one right here, Akira. Um, now, this was like years ago when I first saw this uh, movie, the, you know, the movie copy on a, on a CD. I think it was on a, a CD Blu-ray, something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah. Um, but I discovered it. I never watched it uh, until now, you know. And uh, very recently, you know, very recently and very lately, you know, my best friend's been like, you got to watch it. You got to watch it. Why haven't you watched it? You know, uh, my best friend has always been the type to um, just push me and egg me on and just like, you got to get it done. You got to do this. You got to get it done. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> you know, he's always been, uh, 
that type of guy in a good way, in a good way, you know, um, he's not egging me on and he's not pushing me in a bad way, but he's just, uh, pushing me and egging me on. So I get the job and I get the task done. You know, my task was to watch this uh, movie, you know? So, um, yeah. So I'm making this video, you guys, because of one simple reason. I uh, watched this movie. Yep. I watched this movie. By the way, you guys, if you guys already did not know this, uh, this is in this is indeed an anime movie. It's two hours long. It is not um, an anime series. Yes, there is a manga, a whole series to go with it. But if you're just focused on watching this film, it is a film, it is a movie, and it's about two hours long. So yeah, it took me about, it took me uh, approximately two days to watch this movie and finally get it done and finally, you know, check it off and say, mission complete mission accomplished you know so yeah uh so in a way you guys i'm gonna be talking about this uh anime movie right here this anime film uh basically get, gonna give you guys my whole thought process and just me uh rambling and ranting on and just you know in somewhat in a way give you guys uh, my review on uh, this film from my own perspective and just, you know, explain my whole thought process and this and that and, you know, blah, 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 you know, so yeah. I'll be honest, you guys, um, you know, when I first saw this movie on the shelves at Books a Million many, many years ago, I was like, okay, you know, this is probably a good action adventure packed anime film. And, you know, you see this dude in this red, you know, biker jump, jumpsuit outfit and this cool looking bike, this cool looking motorcycle, you know, which is so dope and so clean. I mean, it's, I mean, you know, the guys, the guy's name uh, wearing this red uh, jumpsuit, the, the guy wearing this red uh, jumpsuit outfit, his name is called Kaneda. Yeah, that's his name, Kaneda. I actually was writing it down. I actually, um, I have some little notes here. So yeah, it's not, a, it's not a whole lot to go on. Um, I just wrote uh, two names. You got Kaneda and then you got Tetsuo. Uh, so yeah, but um, no, just hear me out. You guys hear me out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear me out. Hear me out. So yeah. Um, but yeah, this uh, guy right here, Kaneda in his, alf his red outfit with this cool dope looking bike. That's clean. Okay. That, that is clean. I, I will be honest. That is clean. Um, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, when I first watched this anime film, I, I was totally, totally expecting something different. Not this. I did not see this coming. I was not expecting this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, if you're watching today's episode, episode 71, and you're looking at the title of this video, which most likely you are because you're watching this video, if you are. If you're not, then okay, then whatever. But if you are watching today's episode, if you're watching this, ep this episode and this video right here, right now, look at the title. Look at the title of this video and then hear me out. Just hear me out. Sit down, you know, and hear me out. Mark my words and heed my words when I say this. This movie... This anime film is not for kids. I'm going to say that again. I repeat, Akira is not for kids. I repeat, Akira is not for kids. The reason why I'm saying that, you guys, because in all reality, it is not for kids. This film is dark as hell. Like, ladies and gentlemen, I was not expecting this. I was expecting some, like, okay, you know, they go on this journey, they go on this adventure, they're living in the city life, yada, 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 whatever, you know? I was not expecting this. This anime film is an action adventure, um, sci-fi, and horror at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. This anime film definitely has got those horror vibes going on. 
definitely, without a doubt. I would say probably horror, the horror vibes basically speaks of all entirety and basically the whole horror vibes for this film speaks for itself when it comes to the whole making of Akita. Yeah, you guys, like I said, I was not expecting this. I did not see that coming. I was not expecting some horror, dark, deep, like anime film. I was totally expecting something else. Now, I've always known when it comes to anime and I've always known when it comes to anime films and movies that there are some deep and dark type of content out there. And when it comes to that type of content, well, you got to make sure you got to tell yourself, okay, this film and this series and this yada, yada, yada is not for kids, especially this series right here. Um, I don't know if there have, I don't know if there have any been, I don't know if there has any been a uh, type of content creators out there. I don't know if there have any, I don't know if there's been any, uh, content creators out there that have said the same things that a kid is not for kids, but I think the majority of the anime community is going to agree with me that this film is not for kids. You know, if you got a little brother, if you got a little sister and you're getting them into the kids version of anime, like the very innocent kid stuff like Pokemon and whatever, you know, yeah, keep it that way. But you know, do not watch this film. First of all, Akita, do not watch this film if you are very sensitive when it comes to blood. There is a lot of blood in this series. There's a lot of blood, a lot of gore. There's even one scene where you see uh, Tetsuo. He's like freaking out and he's having these illusions and he thinks his entire guts, he thinks like he believes that his guts is just pouring out of his body and he's trying to like gather them up. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, it's it's pretty dark, you guys. It's pretty dark and it's pretty deep as hell. Especially the the final battle between Kaneda and Tetsuo. Like when Tetsuo becomes that big glob monster, like he's absorbing Kaneda and Tetsuo's girlfriend. Now I forget what her name is. Um, Ted, I know it's not Tetsuo's a girlfriend, but you pretty much can tell. You can pretty much tell that they are in love with each other. And there's one scene where Tetsuo and I'd say that his it was his childhood girlfriend. You know, um, basically we're just gonna call him. We're just gonna say his girlfriend for the sake of the story. So yeah. Um, but Tetsuo's girlfriend, like when Tetsuo becomes that big glob monster and he absorbs Kaneda and his girlfriend. He literally, literally obliterates. He crushes Tetsuo's girlfriend inside of the big glob monster that he is. And just, just gone, done, crushes her. And there's blood and just, if you guys have seen Akita, you're gonna, you're, most of you guys are probably gonna know what I'm talking about here, but oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, my guys, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, just, oh my God. Like I said, I was not expecting this. I honestly was not expecting this. I was expecting something totally different, not this. And just, yeah, this movie, this anime film definitely caught me by surprise. Definitely, without a doubt definitely caught me by surprise and honestly you guys when i think about it that's the first time that anime has ever done that to me before like when i'm watching an anime i'm usually i can usually tell what this is where this is going where the story is taking me and just where this anime journey is gonna take me through and just the episodes and the seasons and this and that blah blah, blah. i pretty much have a good idea of where this is all going not this film not uh you know, this film, I had no idea, um, you know, I was like, you know, when I was watching this film, I was like invested in it, you know, I was invested in it and I was like, holy cow, like, I want to see what happens next because like I said, you guys, I was not expecting this because 
again, I was totally, totally expecting something different, but no, not this. And because of this, you know, different, like, because of this different, like, storyline that's going on that I did not see coming and I was not expecting because of that, you know, I just had that mindset. I just had that mindset, like, I want to see what happens next. Like, I have to see this, you know, I have to see this. I have to know what happens next. And I did, you know, and to tell you the truth, you guys, um, I don't want to say that I have that fear and I have that anxiety over blood. Um, but I will say that, um, well, here's the thing, blood in anime, I can handle, but it's blood like in, uh, movies and TV shows and stuff like that, where they like show in detail, like, you know, um, I remember, I remember back, I remember back then, um, I was watching this one movie with my dad. And I was very young at the time and, you know, um, you know, and just like this one dude, he's being operated and they're like cutting into him. They're cutting his guts out, whatever. And like my dad's telling me to cover your eyes, put the cover over your head, whatever. And I did. And it was just like, yeah, it was some freaky stuff, you know? So, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely and 100% honest when I say this. I nearly passed out. I nearly passed out while watching this uh, film. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've watched an anime that has a lot of blood, a lot of gore, and it's got that horror vibes. The last anime that I watched that had those horror vibes and that displayed that, you know, the blood effects and this and that, uh, that anime was called Another. Now, I freaking loved that anime, Another. If you guys have not seen that show, I would highly definitely recommend you watch that show, but obviously be mature, you know? If it, you know, again, that show, like this show, like this film, Another, that anime is not for kids, okay? Uh, so yeah, so you definitely gotta be on that mature level and you definitely gotta be on that, uh, you know, mature side of things, you know? So yeah, but I loved that anime, Another, um, really good. I remember staying up till five in the morning, uh, watching that anime because it was so good, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when I say this, uh, heed my words and believe me because, uh, this is no lie. I remember the last anime I passed out, nearly passed out before this one right here. Well, not nearly passed out. I did pass out. Um, well, Last anime I passed out was watching Tokyo Ghoul. Now, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not going to go into depth detail about that. I'd rather save that story for another time, so stick around and stay tuned. But, uh, yeah, so long story short, when I started watching this anime film, Akita, I'm like 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes into the movie. This movie is a two-hour long movie, so it's pretty long so yeah it's a two hour long movie so yeah um you know so yeah so 15 10 20 minutes into the movie i'm start I, I start feeling dizzy you know i start feeling dizzy and just like you know they're showing the blood effects and this and that and some pretty deep and some dark stuff here and there here and there you know and i was like dang you know and i was like I'm starting to feel dizzy, like, what's going on, you know? <laughs> and, um, you know, I was up pretty late. I it wasn't that late. I, I would say that I started watching this movie like 12 a.m. in the morning, um, you know, but there came a moment, there came that moment where I told myself, no, 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 no. I got to pause this. I'll continue watching it tomorrow. And... I was just like, I was just telling myself, you know what, fuck it, screw it, I'm just going to go to bed. And um, you would have thought, you would have thought, most people would have thought like, oh, that's the end, end of story. He quit, he quit watching this movie. Nah, 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 that's not me, I'm no quitter. See, if I'm watching something, I'm going to watch it till the very end, especially anime. That's just me. That's always been my model. That's always been my philosophy. Why? What's my reasoning? I don't know. But... I, again, just I'm having those thoughts and I'm having that mentality 
that I have to see this. I have to see what this is about. And I just need to figure out. I need to figure out and I need to find out what happens next. You know, and just, um, yeah. So the next day, um, so today is Sunday. So yesterday was Saturday and then Friday. So Friday, I started watching this movie. Then I started feeling dizzy and I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go to bed because of the blood and the effects and just... I don't know, the whole horror vibes were just getting to me. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to man up. I'm 22 years old. I'm okay with this kind of stuff. I can handle this kind of shit, okay? <laughs> and uh, and I did. You know, I watched the rest of the entire movie the next day on Saturday. And I was like, whoa. Again, you guys did not see that coming. Was not expecting that. And it was just, yeah pretty deep stuff i mean the entire battle between kaneda versus tetsuo pretty deep stuff i'm not gonna lie pretty deep stuff indeed and i'm like yeah very deep very very deep and very dark as hell yeah this film akira is not for kids there's a reason why i'm putting that in the title of this video and there's a reason why i'm saying that right here and right now if you're watching today's episode of course akita is not for kids it really is not it is not for kids if you're if you're the type of guy if you're the type of person that's showing this film this anime film to kids then i'm just gonna be like okay there's something seriously demented wrong with you like you're demented or something like there's something seriously wrong with you you know yeah just don't do it don't do it yeah yeah this anime film not for kids not for kids um now my verdict what's my verdict on this uh on this film my verdict i give it a 10 out of 10 Despite the fact, despite the fact that watching 10, 15, 20 minutes into the film in the first place, and I nearly almost passed out and I was feeling dizzy and everything like that. Uh, yeah, I'm still giving it a 10 out of 10. And here's the reason why. The animation, it's, I love the old school vibes. I love the old school vibes that this film brings to the table. It's definitely got that old animation and a lot of people will say this in the community that this anime film is definitely a pioneer for more upcoming and more anime series and films that are out today, nowadays, you know. It's definitely, this film, a pioneer, a legendary one. And um, a lot of people will say that it's been a, it's been that influence, that big influence for more and more anime films and more and more anime films and more anime series to come out in the future and just it's it's a pioneer you know um i can't really explain it in details because again i'm still a rookie and i'm still a newbie when it comes to this type of stuff that's why i plan in the future when i have more friends and i'm socializing more and i definitely have more anime friends that know this stuff more than i do and they know more uh, depth and detail they're on that level and they're on that mindset you know they're in, they're on that game uh, when that day comes I plan to do a remake video of this right here and me and my good buddies me and my good friends my comrades my allies we sit down and we do a whole uh, discussion video talking about this anime film right here and we talk about why uh, this specific film is a pioneer it's a legendary one and why it's a influence for anime in general and just you know more and more anime uh series and more anime films to come out you know in the future and just yeah it's a whole like um <laughs> yeah you guys i'm not giving my words and uh like i said you guys i'm not the smartest person in the room when it comes to this kind of uh deep uh deep uh death type of knowledge and detail right here which is why this is what I'm going to do, you guys. In this video, I'm going to put a link. I'm going to put a link 
in the description box below. And I'm going to put a link in the comment section below. Uh, put a link to a, a content creator, a dude, that did a review. He did a review on this uh, film and the manga itself, Akita. And this guy goes by the name of Bob Samurai. I always like to call him Bobo Samurai, but no, you say Bob Samurai. Shout out to Bob Samurai. He's the GOAT. He's a legendary, awesome dude. And uh, I think he really hits the nail on the head when it comes to his anime reviews and just all that, all that stuff, you know. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to put a link in the description box below and in the comment section below to his video where he talked about uh, this film and this genre, Akita, right here. And um, yes, that video he made in 2013, it may be an old video, but he definitely goes more into death detail and he definitely does a better job of explaining it more in knowledge and more in detail better than I am, <laughs> you know, um, you know, I don't want to put word, I don't want to put, you know, words into my mouth saying that, oh, well, you know, he's smarter than me, you know. But he is a smart dude. He is a smart dude, and he really does know his stuff. So, yeah, he's a really cool, smart dude. And he's a go he's the GOAT. He's the GOAT, and he's legendary. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing, you guys. I'll be putting that link both in the description box below and in the comment section below. Uh, so if you guys wish to know more details and you guys want a more brief and uh, depth and detail review, of this uh, film and this genre, Akita, right here, then you go check out his video out, and uh, he explains it more in depth, the detail, uh, better than I'm doing right here, right now. So yeah, um, but uh, but yeah, you guys. But overall, the thing I liked about this film, um, going back to what I was saying before, my verdict. The animation, I'm definitely loving, and I'm digging those old school vibes. Right after I finished watching this anime film right now i'm currently re-watching cowboy bebop um you know i think i think uh, what i'll be doing is every time i finish or re-watch a series i'll make a video talk about it and give my whole thought process and explain my whole thought process and give my somewhat review and uh yeah do that whole spiel you know do the do uh do them whole uh, vibes you know so yeah do that whole spiel you know so yeah but anyway um, but yeah, right after this, um, right after I finished uh, this anime film, I started rewatching Cowboy Bebop because I felt like it. And me and my best friend, we've been talking about it a whole lot about Cowboy Bebop. Hey, Spike, <laughs> you know, I love Jet Black. Oh, my God, that show is so freaking good. Um, I liked this sh film. It's definitely got those old school vibes to it. Animation, really good um voice acting really good uh i watched this anime film in dubbed non-subbed i always i always prefer dub because it's easier for me to understand and just it's more relaxing if i watch it in dubbed that's just me personally so yeah the dubbed voice actor is really really good thought they did an awesome job um so yeah dubbed was really good animation quality was good even though this was an old school oh even though this was an old school film um this film came out in like what the 19 i think this film came out in 1988 so yeah it's an old school film um but really good and the thing i gotta give credit to this film is because the horror vibes it's definitely got those horror vibes me as a person, you know, like, I'm still trying to figure out, like, how far I can go when it comes to horror vibes, you know, but I'm still, uh, I'm still trying to figure that out, you know, I'm still trying to, you know, figure that out, and I'm still trying to, like, uh, yeah, you know, I'm still, like, I'm trying to figure that out, like, how far, how far I can go with my expectations of of uh, handling that type of uh, horror vibes content, you know, the horror vibes, you know. This film right here does a fantastic, great job with the horror vibes. The second day, Saturday, when I was continuing to uh, watching this film, I felt the horror vibes all over my spine. I could feel the spines. I, I could feel the chills. That's what I meant to say. 
I could literally feel the chills going all over my spine, up top to bottom. I could feel the chill all over my spine while watching this film. And if that's happening, then you know that they're doing a really great job when it comes to the horror. Like this film right here does a fantastic, great, great job when it comes to the horror vibes. It's, again, you guys, I'm just stoked. I'm, I'm just blown away. I'm blown away. I'm shocked, honestly. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm speechless, really. I am, you know, just did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. And and the fact that not only is there this film, but there's the manga, and you got the manga, it's like 200 copies. You the the books, the books are like dictionary size, like they're big books, you know. And there's and it goes so much more depth and detail when it comes to the storyline and the characters. Apparently, the whole fight between Tetsuo and Kaneda. Basically, there's more to that fight that they don't show in the film rather than they show more of that fight scene in the manga. So it's definitely got me curious now. It's definitely got me curious. And I'm like, holy moly, holy cow. Like there's obviously more to the story than meets the eye, you know? So you got the film and then you got the manga, you know? Um, I don't know if I'll be reading the manga anytime soon because, well, you know, I really can't afford to buy any manga now. So yeah, um, but hopefully when I start getting some of that paper and I start working, I start getting a job and I have a job, uh, hopefully um, I'll be able to be like those content creators on YouTube. And um, I guess they, I guess you call, I guess you'd call them an anime YouTuber, you know, and be like, start a whole manga collection and, and you know, show off in the background and put the camera in front of you and this and that and this and that and blah, 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 you know, and yeah. Um, I'm really tempted, you know, I'm really tempted that I might uh, do that sometime in the future. I don't know. I'm still debating about it. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm this anime film right here. I'm 22 years old. I'm mature enough to watch this kind of stuff and handle this type of content. I'm like, bravo. This, I will admit the story in the film was a little bit confusing. It was a little bit confusing, but overall, it was good. It was good. Those horror vibes definitely, they definitely hit that nail on the head when it comes to those horror vibes. That's a bullseye right there. They definitely, they def blew it out of the water. They definitely blew it out of the water when it comes to those horror vibes. And wow, I, again, I'm just so... I'm, I'm speechless. I'm shocked. I'm so like, I'm shocked. I'm speechless. And I'm like, wow. Wow. You know, didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming like at all, you know? So, uh, so yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you guys, you know, if you're on that mature level, if you're in your 20s or you're an anime fan and you think you can handle this type of content, you think you can handle this kind of horror vibes, then yeah, go on, go ahead. By all means, watch this movie, watch this film. And it's just, wow. Wow. Just, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. And there's probably more that I want to say, but I, it's like, I don't know. I, I've always, me as a person, I'm not good at my words, so please bear with me. That's why in the future, I have an idea and I have that mentality, that vision where me and my friends, we do another video in the future on my channel and we talk about this film again and we do a remake video of this video right here and um, we just go more into detail. We just go more into detail and we go more into depth of detail talking about this film talking about why it's so good and just talking about the um why it's a pioneer why it's legendary why it's an influence for animes 
other anime series and other anime fil films to come later on in the future of this whole universe and and yada 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 so <laughs> yeah uh guys again i'm gonna put a link in the description box below to bob samurai's video where he talked about this anime film right here i'll put a link in the description box below and in the comments section below um yeah it's the best i got right now you guys that's the best i got i know i'm not good with my words you know some people are probably gonna roast me and this and that but you know my verdict of this anime film 10 out of 10 the blood effects they definitely got that going on again the horror vibes if it's the fact of the matter the fact of the matter is that i was able to experience like I was able to watch this film and experience having chills all over my spine. If that happened, then you know they're doing a really, really damn good job when it comes to the horror vibes that this film brings to the table. Then you know, like, you know, like they definitely blow it out of the water, blow it out. They definitely blow it out of the water when it comes to the horror vibes. And yeah, I love it. I, I, I love it. It's, it, it's good it's good you know and then because of that old animation because of those old school vibes i just decided and i felt like re-watching cowboy bebop and right now i'm currently on episode three of cowboy bebop so uh yeah <laughs> you know this is what anime does to you you know and I, I just love it you know i love it and uh yeah definitely good movie definitely blew me out of the water blew me by surprise caught me by surprise and just like wow just you know, wow, didn't see that coming. You know, horror vibes definitely nailed it. Um, you know, it's definitely got that action adventure to it as well. And it's definitely got that, it definitely uh, spreads those vibes to the table. And it definitely, it, it's definitely giving off those vibes where you're like, well, I want to find out what happens next. And I just want to find out and just figure out what happens next. And I just want to continue watching this you know despite how deep and despite how dark this film can get you know it's pretty yeah it's very deep stuff there's a reason you guys there's a reason why not only me but i think a lot of people will say this in the community why this movie is not for kids yeah akita is not for kids you guys keep that in mind just keep remembering that and just keep that in mind you guys all right just keep that in mind and just you know tell yourself this film, this anime movie, Akita, is not for kids. So just keep that in mind, you guys. Keep that in mind. So, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know. You know what? I'm really tempted right now. I'm really tempted, and I'm really... Honestly, you guys, I had a blast, and I had a lot of fun making this video, even though I don't sound like it, but deep down in spirit i did i think i'm really tempted now i think i'm really tempted to talk about more animes and uh, bring more anime series to the channel and uh guys if that's something you really want if that's something you really look forward to please please by all means click the subscribe button what are you doing soon we're gonna make it to eddie episodes of this random thought series and then after 80 90 episodes and then a hundred baby come on what are you waiting for guys come on seriously what are you waiting for come on now come on come on so yeah but guys if you definitely want to see me talk about and bring more uh anime series and i do more discussion videos and i do like more explaining my whole thought process type of spiel if you guys want to see more of that, please subscribe for more content, you guys, and just subscribe. Click the click the button. Click the button. It's red. It's red, you know, not trying to put any thoughts in your head, not trying to make things weird or dark or deep or whatever. <laughs> but just, no, subscribe, you guys, subscribe, because um, I really love anime. And this anime film definitely blew me out of the water. Never saw that coming. Never would have expected that. Horror vibes, definitely, they blew those horror vibes out of the water. So good. Good stuff, you guys. Good stuff. So, yeah. Again, you guys, last but not least, keep that in mind. To self-note, Akita is not for kids. You keep that in mind. Akita 
is not for kids. Keep that in mind, you guys. Keep that in mind. Yeah. All right, you guys. I think that's going to be it for this video right here. That ought to wrap things up. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Subscribe for more content, you guys. Click the notification bell so you guys will be notified right away when a new video is up on the channel. Click the like button to show your support and all the good vibes. Very much appreciated. Believe it. Share, like, comment, subscribe, all the good vibes. Very much appreciated. Many thanks. Believe it. So, yeah. Stay awesome. Stay strong. Stay safe. Stay positive. Hang in there. Don't give up. Do what you love and love what you do. May the power protect you all. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Random Thoughts. Peace out.